But first, we are starting in the kitchen because even though it's treat central for the next oh, 24 hours or so, the best Halloween food is not always found in that big bulk bag. Tara Bench has a roundup of last minute homemade food ideas with a fun factor and also a wow factor, right? That's our All criteria. Yes. Happy was Halloween. You, was your mom a fun Halloween mom growing My up? My mom was a fun, I, I got it from her. She yeah. was a fun mom. We, I mean, definitely Halloween sugar cookies with green icing and all of the sprinkles. But every holiday, she had something up her sleeve and we would do crafts and food crafts and all of that. You're carrying that tradition on, helping us do that as well in our own home. So let's jump right in because you have a table full of sugar and a fun. Table, well, not all sugar. Okay. So the most important thing is to start with something that will fill little kids' bellies before they go out trick-or-treating, right? True, yes. So that's kind of what we have here. Okay. But it's a little pre -house. Halloween food craft. So little mummy um, cheese stick bowls. Uh -huh. So just use the frozen mozzarella sticks like I use farm rich out of the freezer. Right. Heat them up. Little bloody marinara sauce. Oh, there you go. But Rename the it thing, and all of a sudden it's yes. Halloween appropriate. Yes. But the great thing is use water bottle or some other sort of plastic bottle. Okay. I cut strips of white paper. Uh huh. A little bit of glue and you wrap that around with some googly eyes. Look at that. And the kids can help with that and then Halloween comes and they have a little something to fill their bellies. That's before adorable. They stuff the candy in. And they're going to be excited because they've participated in the making of the actual yes, little cup, right? Yes, I think right? so. And you can reuse them year after year. You yes. know, just rinse them out and you're good. And bloody marinara. That'll So the other the sort of dinnery type food is shriveled ogre nose pizza. <laughs> and yeah, I dare you to say that to some kid and not get <laughs> right. him to totally laugh. Right. Because it is. It's kind of funny. But we, it's just kind of veggies. You can put meatballs on it if you want to. Okay. Little ricotta tomatoes. But it's easy pre-made pizza dough. Stick it in the oven. That sort of thing. But I want to show you how to cut a parsnip. Yeah, please. You don't use them too often. They're so delicious roasted. I use them next to never, I have okay, to Okay, well so. they're great and okay. they're really sweet once they're roasted. So kids will think they're they're almost like candy like. Oh wow. But I just take a parsnip and cut sort of the edge off. Okay. And then cut it into sh noses, ogre noses. noses. Can mm -hmm. we and we can eat the whole thing top to bottom. You can eat the whole thing. It's like a carrot. Okay. You can eat the center and the all of that. But I roast these little Ogre noses, yes. and they get all shrivelly, and they look really cute on a Halloween. Somehow, pizza. when beautiful Tara Bench says ogre noses, it sounds attractive. I don't it's know how. Ogre noses. Ogre noses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I like that. Very fun. Some of it's just how you sell it, right? The yeah. bloody marinara, yes. the ogre noses. Fun food before they go out and have fun. They're probably in their costumes already. All right. right? Bellies so. are full. Can we get to the sweeter stuff? Yes. Get to the sweet stuff. This is one of my favorite things. It's little ghost and pumpkin jack-o'-lantern glasses. So the trick is, and you can help me yes, do please. it, is we just take a little melted chocolate. It can okay. be chocolate chips or whatever you want uh-huh and paint on the inside of the glass oh paint like a little face yeah paint a oh. little spooky ghost face you said um, spooky right as I was about to do a big old smile grin. That's awesome. So is that okay? <laughs> you can do that but it's very cute it's really easy the kids can do it but just get a wide mouth glass mm -hmm. paint on the inside and then when you put a cold vanilla milkshake in or a cold pumpkin shake in it holds the chocolate Correct. and it doesn't run. It's so great. That is so clever. Um, a little trick to get your pumpkin milkshakes orange, I put a couple of drops of orange food coloring in it. Easy enough. So they're bright orange, really cute, little green straw for the stem. Very fun, very fun. All right, now Don't it's getting serious. Now it's getting the real, the real stuff. Right? Black and white monster cookies. And you have to have a fun name for everything, right? So right. these are Halloween monster cookies. Great way to use your Halloween candy. All that candy that the kids come home with just Grab it from them. <laughs> Pill for there. We do Pilfer that anyway, right? It's, yeah, exactly. It's the tax that you have so, to pay when you walk through the door. This is my favorite chocolate chip cookie dough that I mixed in some cocoa in half of it. And I mix them together to make black and white cookies. So Perfect. you can help me if you'd like. Yes, I'd love to. And you just put two balls together, okay. squish it down a little, and then I've already mixed candy and pretzels and chocolate all into the cookie dough. You've got Reese's, you've mm -hmm. got the pretzels you mentioned. What are Kit those? Kat Kit Kats. And Kats. Snickers, and you can just put them on top if you want to. Okay. Just to make them gorgeous on top. Mm -hmm. It's a little food styling trick, but it works at home. Okay. And then bake those up like regular chocolate chip cookies. And they come out looking like that? They do, and they're really easy. And I like to underbake my chocolate chip cookies just a little, so they're a little soft. A little more anyway, chewy, a little less my crunch. Thing. That's okay, my thing. we'll Here's take any tip we can get. What are these? Same vein, using your candy from Halloween, it's Almond Joy Parfaits. Yum. So a little chocolate pudding, a little Almond Joy chopped up chocolate cake that you make ahead, Right. cut it into um, squares, uh -huh. and the kids can help top it off. We can just top this off. I think they'll have fun layering it, the yes. kids will. Yes. Um, put a little almond extract in the whipped cream, Ooh. and it just kind of creates this amazing dessert. Easy way to use candy up that you have in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, these are the showstoppers. What are you calling these guys? Well, they're kind of like 
inspiration bombs. You put them on the table and everybody's like, what? <laughs> so they kind of, you know, excite everyone. It's a but mind blower. Candy cupcakes. Candy cupcakes. Yeah, mind blowing candy cupcakes. I want to show you a trick though. They're really mounded. Lots okay. of icing and, and candy. They look a little crazy. We're not going to argue with that. But I take a little, um, what is this called? A, a donut little, hole. Mini donut hole. Mini yeah. donut hole. Yeah. Cut it in half. And I use that as my shape for the uh -huh. cupcake. Ha. Uh -huh. And then you mound the icing around it. And then that? I mound the icing around it. Oh, you're getting it. serious. Look at that. Ice cream scoop. Right? It makes the perfect mound. Okay, that is so clever. And then we can clever. put whoppers right on top. That is so clever. Isn't that great? So yes. it looks like a crazy amount of frosting, but it's all cake and deliciousness, and the kids can put all the candy on top of it. Does this I fit into your food styling trick file as well? I mean, to mound and to build and to shape yeah, the way you want? Yeah, but that's the nice thing. I can use those tricks, and you can too at home. It yeah. makes it just simpler, and here, let's put some let's start building this on there. Yeah. And build is the right word. Like, you're really building this structure, right? This is better than Legos because, of course, it's edible, and chocolate is involved. <laughs> but I would love to see you dig into one of these, maybe after the show, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll preserve my lipstick <laughs> just, for, just for about 10 minutes, and then we'll, we'll jump in during the commercial break. Very, very cool. But these are cool. great takeaways for a party. They are really beautiful on the table, that sort of thing. All right, skeleton cookies round out your table of ideas. Yes, and I want you to help me pipe some of these. So okay. they're really simple designs, great for to-go gifts at a party. Uh -huh. It's royal icing, so the icing gets hard. Okay. And you can put them in a little gift bag. And I make a little face. I'm doing kind of a Jason mask here. Yes, totally. And then outline the eyes and the mouth, and then fill in the empty spots. So you have those big outlines. You can make funny my, faces, scary my faces. My squinting. I hope that's OK. That's awesome. His eyes kind of caved in on us. Well, okay. that's perfect. And then I just come down the line, make his little bones. Yeah. And it's super simple. I mean, if you watch somebody do this, you're like, I can do that. But they look so impressive when they're done. Well, yours more. <laughs> Yours a little more Look impressive than mine. <laughs> Look at Looks you. Great. Food stylist extraordinaire. Great. That oh, is I love it. too fun. But these are great for display, or you can hand them out if your neighborhood is a you know homemade food handout yeah, neighborhood. Yeah. So Tara, these are awesome ideas. You are Good. always posting amazing content on your website. Yes. Where can we find you? TaraTeaspoon.com. And the first hundred people that go there today uh, sign up, give us your information, and we'll send you a coupon for free food. So oh, you're kidding? Yeah, we've got some good offers so going on. So you sign on. up for your great newsletter where you get mm -hmm. great information and coupons and come a, along and a little the way. bonus. Follow her on Instagram yes. too. Great, great ideas there as well. And speaking of, we were talking about the eyes. Speaking of eyes, there's been some extra eyes watching us. Have you noticed? Yes, I have. Our What's He Thinking guys are in the ah, studio. Oh, we're taking selfies. Taking a little selfie right now at the moment. You guys, any treats that we can like hand over to you? What? All there, all there. You want a candy right. cupcake? Just, What's that thing that, right there? What? The what? 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 The ghost cookie. Oh, right. oh, mommy cookie? What are we doing? Cookie. All right. Yeah. 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 I honestly here. want that mm. thing. Just this for right you. Here. The park This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want to go out Get some insulin to go on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're going to dig in during the commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to talk to our What's He Thinking guys about favorite fears. I don't know if favorite applies with the word fears, but the real thing that makes your man jump. That's coming up on Studio 5. I think they're happy now. Yes, I think so. Yeah.